Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 9 and 10. Alright, uh, first of all, uh, I've got have to say this, like, uh, like when I started Neon Genesis Evangelion, I did not think I would like it so much because obviously, uh, like, uh, like as, as I've said before, like I have, I really usually do not go for, you know, mecha anime but um so i was like i've heard a lot of good things about evangelion at that time and i so that's why i, I really wanted to check it out but like looking at it now i have to say that uh mecha is just like a small portion of it and like most of the things like this is like a psychological anime and it has a lot of like stress on you know human emotions and human relationships and stuff like that evangelion is just a thing within it so i'm really liking uh like the tone of the anime and each and everything and i have to say I, I can like you know understand how like why people praise this anime so much and this is barely the you know uh eighth episode i've seen uh the last so and this is the ninth and the tenth episode so uh I, almost more than half of the anime is still left and i'm sure it will like surprise me in more ways after this as well so like i'm looking forward to that and <clears throat> yeah so like and also like asuka got introduced in the previous episode and i am really looking forward to the episodes with her in it because obviously like she is one of the most like famous characters of like of anime and because of her like whole like sundari nature and like a lot of things like she is like one of the you know uh like one of the well most well-known characters of anime so yeah like finally she is here and in the first episode which kind of introduced her was really like i loved her like uh, she she was she's a great character so let's just see like what like happens after this and how like shinji <laughs> like interacts with her and what like how it like uh, <clears throat> how the like anime goes yeah so yeah guys i'm without further ado let's get started with uh, neon genesis evangelion episode number nine all right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> oh and uh, Asuka was uh, transferred in the previous episode wasn't she yeah like, she came to like Shinji's school she's from Germany uh, wasn't it yeah so <coughs> okay so that means like there's a question I have like uh like japan has two evangelions that is like zero zero unit zero zero and zero zero one and asuka had another evangelion which is zero zero two so i'm guessing germany has one evangelion and japan has two evangelions are there any more evangelions like this like any other countries or something like okay let's see <laughs> yeah Wow, everyone's like snapping pictures of her. Oh my god. They get arrested. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's Asuka. Oh my god, the ladies are extremely annoyed. <laughs> They're making good money. Wow. <laughs> ah, yes. <clears throat> oh. 
other ones? What <laughs> the fuck? Oh yeah, Ray. Ah, oh, there she is. <clears throat> um, hello, you're blocking the sun. <clears throat> okay. Damn, there's like a crowd. Why? <laughs> oh my god. Um, Shinji is also a pilot, you know? Okay. Who the? Wait, what? Are they joking or something? Oh my god, this guy has some... Yeah, they're joking. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> oh, he's here to hand over the unit. Oh boy. Oh no, emergency. Another angel? Another angel. Moment and heart together. Okay. Oh, this was the other angel. That's not true. Mm. One and two. Okay, both of them are going. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Well, uh, I think Shinji has more synchronization rate than Asuka, wasn't it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, she has a lance. That's Lance, isn't it? Ah, okay. Yeah, he can, you know, he's the ranged unit. He can provide backup from behind. But obviously, like, Asuka has this Lance in her hand. She has to go in close and... Oh! Okay, that was quick. Oh, oh, it's regenerating. What? It's split into two. <laughs> uh, what happened? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> okay. Um...
Oh boy. Oh. Oh my god, it completely blew up. Oh, yeah. yeah they'll have to let like, go again. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> Okay, well, that went well. Yeah, there's this whole, you know, image they had to maintain. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like he would just <laughs> Oh, okay What? What the hell is this? Oh! Asuka! She's, she's transferring his home. Oh, obviously she's, like, she needs a place to live. What? Huh? Um, what? <laughs> yeah, Shinji's also going to live here. Two point attack on each turn. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they, if they break the two cores at the same time. Oh my god. They need teamwork. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that is why. Six days, oh my god. Hmm. Oh, six days as f okay. Hmm. <laughs> Special training. <laughs> Both of you dance you like you want to win. Um, uh, yes, like, oh. <laughs> oh, she must have come here to, you know, oh, for Soryu. Oh my god, they're in for a shock. <laughs> they're in for a shock. Uh... Yeah, special training. And Shinji is... <laughs> Doesn't make a right. Oh, Ray is also here.
Yeah, they're doing the training, you know? The music training or whatever. Oh. Oh, this one. What is this called? Twister, isn't it? This game? Oh. Oh, Ray. Yeah, Ray is here, but... But um, Ray, I, I think like she is not as good as Asuka in like controlling it, like, the synchronization rate. Uh, oh! <laughs> Wait, where is his fault? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, like, if you say so. Mm. 10 times, okay. <laughs> That's not synchronization. <laughs> Penguin is, oh no. Is the penguin also doing the training with them? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> okay, that was good. Oh my god. Um. Okay. The impression of Jericho. All right. <laughs> oh. Okay. He was asked not to go there, but she can come here, okay. Well, that's a Sundre for you, so... Oh no, she didn't come here, she went to the... Wait, what? Oh, she mistook her bed. Usually, like, you know, she is accustomed to sleep here. Shinji, you're... Oh my god, if she wakes up, she's going to beat the crap out of him. Um... Uh... Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh! <laughs> my god! What is this, the elevator? Yeah. Yeah, this is the elevator. <laughs> uh, 
damn, this guy is like, you know. <laughs> okay. Oh well. Oh. Wait, why did they like, you know, break up then? Like. <laughs> okay. Well. You still need this. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, like like something must have happened, like they don't seem in bad terms but still there's this you know it's kind of uh like an awkwardness all right yeah synchronization Sixty two seconds, that's a particular number. All right, here we go. This the seconds are ticking. Okay, ten seconds have passed, twelve seconds. Oh, it, it split into two. Okay, now the guns. Okay. Dodging? Whoa. Man, it's like a dance. Yeah, the title of the episode. Like, you know, it was something called dance or something. Like. Okay, 30 seconds. More than 30 seconds. Finished. And. Okay, okay. Uh, it's fused together. And okay. Mm. All right. Okay, so that's it. Thank God. <laughs> but oh well, they did that thing, so. Oh my God. <laughs> They did everything well, but the finishing was a bit... Oh my god. Wait, she, she, she was... <laughs> yeah, she was not awake! She... Oh... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> like imagine this is being broadcasted in Oh god. Uh Okay. <laughs> One thing I'm noticing, the ending song is changing, isn't it? Like I don't know if the song is changing, but the like the person is singing it. Or is it my mistake? Like the previous episode, it, it feel, felt as if Asuka was singing it, and I'm not sure. Like this is also like a female voice, and, and like but this this one has a little bit. The pitch is a bit higher. Anyways, okay, so uh, <laughs> all right, so this episode, this was uh, you know, and the episode, so uh, the teamwork episode. Now <clears throat> they like obviously like um. One thing I thought about, like Ray is there, 
but why do does ray not you know participate um as far as i can understand i think uh like she can pilot it but she is okay like she can pilot the like uh unit zero 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 but uh i'm guessing like due to the synchronization rate or something she is unable to pilot it as well as shinji or asuka uh she is just there for a you know i am guessing um like an emergency like when there's like nothing left like they have to like put someone out like she is there for that and i'm guessing she's also there for like you know some prototype work uh like you know the way they test stuff before like releasing it uh, or finalizing it i'm i'm thinking she's more for that kind of a reason and obviously before shinji came uh into like in nerf like he like before he came uh, like ray was the only child here but and she had to go into these kind of dangerous situations and fight and that's why like she came in like you know uh like extremely injured and all because she herself the i'm guessing the synchronization rate was not as well as shinji so she could not like control it properly and like other complications so it was kind of uh you know a really a difficult time but after shinji came in and her his like rate synchronization rate being like so like high uh he himself was able to carry it out and he like accustomed, got accustomed to the fighting and everything so uh ray got uh you know braked break so yeah and that's why also in this episode when you know they said that when asuka uh said that yeah i am the only one who you like who is there uh, for you guys to rely on uh and like <clears throat> uh, misato said that no there's ray and like ray came and like showed their like uh the synchronize like the way they like ray and um shinji uh <clears throat> like did the teamwork together is a lot more a, a lot better than asuka at that time so uh, asuka got mad and like went away at that but i'm guessing like uh misato did that uh just to you know make um As uh, asuka a bit frustrated of uh, because of her situation and she herself knew like misato herself knew that even if uh ray was able to do this so well uh, he she won't be able to you know uh participate alongside shinji and like fight the angel because she is not capable for that so even though she knew that she kind of like did that to i'm guessing like you know uh mess with asuka and like make her more motivated to do it properly uh, as you know asuka said that my pride got hurt like he like misato did that to hurt her pride so that she like starts uh, taking things more seriously and uh, because obviously if ray was like, capable of doing it they would have like sent ray and shinji like why would they even rely on asuka so i'm guessing that it was the thing and um <clears throat> then like we get this <laughs> whole <laughs> kind of a training arc where like um obviously because if you have to uh like do good teamwork you'll have to like live together know the other one's habit well and um kind of like that kind of helps a lot so they had a very less time because obviously if they had uh you know one or two months for preparation they wouldn't have have to like uh, do this kind of like special training and stuff they would have like uh, gradually got accustomed to each other uh like after a while uh like fighting together but they didn't have the time so they like was like forced to do this whole thing and uh like to speed up the process and yeah and but anyways like uh, it seems as if like asuka is going to live here because obviously he she is has transferred here and i doubt she has any kind of uh like place to live obviously and uh seeing that kaji is like uh, kaji knows misato and uh like uh asuka knows shinji uh like it, it, it like worked out well like they got a room like house a, a shelter and uh like asuka can live here now and <laughs> yeah it's all well and good and and as like this was something that uh like was expected uh asuka is as popular as ever but obviously because she is a foreigner like there's this whole craze for, for foreigners like everywhere you go so yeah like uh <laughs> that's why and um another thing is uh which i am a bit curious about uh, i'm sure like they'll uh, answer that 
like in due time which is uh, what actually happened with Kaji and Misato now like as I was saying before like they seemed a pretty like you know on good terms like obviously like uh, Misato kind of like <laughs> it gets annoyed at Kaji but that's just you know like that's not nothing serious like that is something that she like that's a sundra in her but um like if that is a like a thing so why did they like in the first place why did they break up that's the question here there must have been something like some kind of a situation where like they had to do it or something i don't know so i'm sure like we'll get to know that uh, in like you know in due time and everything so yeah and uh, i'm guessing uh, asuka has some kind of a problem with her mom now here's one thing like you know this is quite you know um kind of like funny thinking about it like shinji has <coughs> has problems with his dad and asuka i'm guessing has some kind of problem with her mom so uh like we can see like they're kind of similar like Shinji and Asuka and I'm guessing that's also the reason why they had so, such good synchronization rate when they like got into the Evangelion together in the previous episode you know uh, they kind of like said that in the end that uh, the synchronization rate is uh, like the most and uh, like uh, it has not gotten so high before and I don't know like I'm guessing because obviously Shinji has a good synchronization rate Asuka has a good syn synchronization rate and obviously uh, like they themselves have a lot of similarities and um, like you know both of them are stubborn like you can see that like kind of saw Shinji acting stubborn as well Shinji himself is stubborn and Asuka is you know she's like she's stubborn it can be seen and um, Shinji has uh, like a lot of things like they're like common w with each other like they're both i'm guessing kind of uh, socially awkward like asuka is not socially awkward but sh obviously like sh she is just like that popular kid like people flock to you but you're not good friends with them like they're just acquaintances like you know there's like two types of people like uh, like two types of relationships between your friends one type of a uh, friend uh, ship is that that they know you and they kind of like talk to you and you talk to them that's the extent of it like you are like you know them as acquaintances but you're not good friends with them but there's another like thing where you like you like really like the person other person your best friends are like very good friends something like that and uh, like that is more you know that is more something that is needed more like you know that one or two like you don't have to have you know 30 or 50 friends you can have three or four friends but good friends and that will like help you a lot so in a way like that like Shinji himself is socially awkward but he has I'm guessing two two yeah two good friends and but I'm guessing Asuka obviously she has recently transferred so like it will take a bit of time I'm not sure if even if she will get some like a good friend like Shinji has gotten uh, maybe the class representative yeah she might be a, become a good friend of hers so in a way they are also kind of socially you know like not good at making uh, acquaintances not good at like uh, kind of <coughs> I, I don't know i'm just like thinking so in a way like they are similar in a lot of ways so yeah that and the, there are like problems are also i'm guessing some kind of similar I, i'm just guessing you know like uh, there can be a lot of other explanations as well like the reason why asuka cried like uh, cried and like called her mom's name it might be like there might be many reasons one reason i like that i thought was maybe she is not on good terms with her mother like that's what i think but it might be it might not be it it might be that her mom is maybe you know has died or something and she's like crying for that or maybe something else maybe uh, her mom uh uh something like something might have happened and like some other thing so i'm not sure this is just a guess but you know the fact is that they both have problems with their parents and that's the main thing <clears throat> yeah and anyways they, they did the whole operation thing properly later on <laughs> kind of messed up in the end like the, <laughs> like the finishing uh, like touch was not given properly like they like <laughs> fell down and there was this whole thing with them screaming at each other i think it's a good thing you know um like shinji also kind of retaliates at stuff so yeah it's kind of fresh 
all right so that was it uh so this was episode number um nine so without further ado let's get started with neon genesis vangelion episode number 10 okay as always i'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> Okay, so one thing um, that I realized, um, Ray is uh, the first child, I'm guessing. The second child is Asuka. The third child is Shinji. Now, like, like it seems as if, like, obviously, like, because Shinji was introduced before Asuka, it seems as if, like, uh, like we made, might make a mistake of, like, saying that, yeah, Shinji is the second child and Asuka is the third child. But that's not it. Like, Asuka is doing the whole, like, Evangelion thing a lot earlier than Shinji. So that's why she's the second child. And Shinji is the third child. And so I'm guessing, like, Rei is, was, like, became a child even before Asuka because she's the first child. Anyways, let's just see. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they're going to school trip. Okinawa, okay. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. The second impact. Obviously, like... What? Why, training or something? Uh, so Shinji is also staying or something? Or is he going? Oh, he's also staying, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god, the, the things that this girl says. Mm, yeah. Damn, this penguin. Uh, yeah, where do they even come from? Oh no. Desk paper or something? Oh no. Oh. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Great. There they go, and they're like standing here looking at. The... Oh boy. That's a shame. <laughs> what the? Hmm. 
Mm, yeah. Who knows uh, in the future if they will, will be able to do anything or not. Oh, she in the pool. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, Shinji. Oh yeah. Wait, yeah, he she can't read properly. Okay. Ah? Oh? Is she graduated? Okay, she's smart, that means. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> oh, cool. oh, that's Ray. Oh yeah, Ray was swimming here. Oh. Okay, this is too bad. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Ooh, what is this? That light imaging? Oh, she went there. Oh, damn. Oh, it's cracking. Yeah, the pressure. Damn, this. Yeah, she is brave, you know. Ooh, damn. Oh, no. Yeah, like, uh, bail out now, like. Oh, yeah, that was the thing we saw in the previous episodes. You know, that Adam or whatever. So that was an angel. I'm guessing a baby angel or something. Live angel sample. Mm, yeah, obviously, like if they fail, everyone fails. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Damn, that's kind of difficult, you know. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And Shinji? Uh, 
Oh boy. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <Yeah>, wow. <laughs> Oh no. Mm. Magma diver. Oh yeah, they're diving in magma. I, okay. I was thinking like they're doing heat resistant stuff. That means they're that was not like underwater, that was under like magma. Yeah, oh my god. Damn. Who is this? Who was the lady talking with him? Oh boy. Yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, one thing, what is Shinji doing here? Like, like Asuka is doing the operation, so... Wow. <laughs> hmm. Four hundred. Oh, he's Shinji's on standby here if something happens. Damn, you know the pressure. Maximum is one three zero zero. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Oh no. Uh. Yeah. One of the coolant pipes got.
Oh my god. Oh. Like it's, it's stressful, you know? Oh. The knife got. What's that? Damn. Oh. One chance. Damn, it's huge, you know, even though it's a fetus. Okay, now I pull it up. Yeah, quick. I hope it doesn't break or something, you know. Oh yeah. Oh no. What the? What's happening? Oh no, it's... Okay, damn. Yeah, yeah run. Yeah, destroy it. Oh my god, like, this was a... Like, first get out of the magma, like... Oh yeah, oh. Okay. Forty seconds. Okay, that's a long time. Oh. Okay, got it. Oh no! This is an in, like if oh my god, this is magma. Like you know, this is not water. Like it'll like burn you off if somehow it gets in. What? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, the coolants are gone. It will start to yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah, Shinji got him.
That's Shinji, isn't it? All right. Oh. What the? Oh, Misato. <laughs> Ask us there as well. Uh, oh boy. Um, Shinji. <laughs> oh my god. What the? It expanded. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, what is that? Oh, okay. Okay, what passed? It's for both of us, so this both were somehow affected by something. I'm guessing the second impact. So the ending song. I said this before as well. Is the singer being changed in each and every episode? Okay, so as I was saying, so they said something like both of us were affected, but it's something in the past. So uh, I'm guessing uh, Asuka also has some kind of a prob like a past, uh, which is connected to the second impact. And um, I don't know if that is also somehow connected with her whole mom situation. As she was like, you know, crying in the previous episode uh, while sleeping. I don't know, this is just something that I like thought. Maybe both both of them are connected or something. Both of the situations. And okay, so this episode, uh this was uh Okay, one thing that like I Okay, let's just alright. Okay, that's the end. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, so one thing that I noticed was um, Asuka is not like uh, like we saw this in previous episodes as well. Like Asuka is really not happy about like people, like other people, uh, like getting in her Evangelion or touching it or something like that. Like he, she also kind of freaked out when Shinji, like you know, um, got into it uh, in the first episode. But I'm guessing uh, obviously because uh, of uh, her kind of interacting with Shinji and everything uh, that thing has reduced a little bit but obviously uh, like that is not the same with the others like in this episode we saw uh, when Ray was saying that then let me just go and like use the unit to do and do the thing she like uh, really freaked out and said that no I don't want to like other people to like touch it or something like that so like <sighs> I don't know I think there's a big implication like you know like obviously like people can kind of like uh, like say that ah he she is just you know like uh, really doesn't want other people to touch his hurt things that's her habit or something like yeah people has this habit a lot of people have like the habit of like if someone else like who you don't know touches your stuff he or she kind of gets angry like that's something like in his or her personality like there is this thing but I think like this has a bigger implication uh, by bigger implication, I mean that I at least I think that uh, the Evangelion is somehow connected to her past or her mom or something. 
I'm really not sure because the way she kind of freaked out in this episode when like Ray said that I'm going to like just go in then um I don't think that's like normal like how normally people react to if they don't like someone touching your stuff I think this has a more em emotional some kind of thing now this is just something that I like I'm I thought I might be completely like off the mark but um yeah I, I just think that this has a bigger implication with something that is in her past or something and obviously I, 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 it also kind of got you know my like thing got reinforced uh, my uh, like the thing that i thought when in the end uh, like misato said that uh, like we both have something like that has happened in our past which is like I'm, i think that it's somehow connected to the second impact obviously because they were talking about the second impact before that and then suddenly Misato said that uh, like both of us have something in our past and I think we should, you know, like forget about that and move on. So, who knows? And, um, yeah, and another thing uh, that happened in this episode was, oh, no, um, Oh yeah, another thing, uh, that was the whole angel thing, you know, uh, the angel that was going to be captured. It looked like a fetus and that fetus is the same kind of fetus that we saw in the um, 10th, 9th, 8th episode. 8th episode in the end, when this uh, like showed us that the Kaji, Kaji bought that, you know, briefcase. Within it, there was this small little fetus and uh, Shinji's dad, uh, he called it Adam. Now, in that episode, I kind of said that maybe this is an angel, you know, when angels are small and they had this whole thing with where they like correlated where like uh, angel are like, you know, uh, kind of like a human, the traces of DNAs were found, something like that was said. So like that was the reason why I thought that maybe this thing that looks like a, you know, human fetus. Uh, like obviously human fetuses are like you know uh, quite small but this thing was quite huge like as a fetus so obviously that's not a human fetus and human fetus cannot like survive like that like it needs special conditions for like it's usually like covered in amniotic fluid within within the uterus and like if a human fetus is like taken out you need some kind of appropriate you know container which contains a fluid which might like, need to contain a fluid which is similar to amniotic fluid that is found within the uterus like artificially so otherwise I'm, I'm sure like a human fetus won't be able to like survive outside so like obviously that's not a human fetus that's something else and which is the reason why i said that maybe this is an angel's feet like angel like you know baby angel and it turns out that at least in this episode it kind of confirmed that i was correct because they said that that's the angel when it is like you know dormant and when it like becomes bigger and uh, breaks out of its like shell or whatever uh, it becomes a like regular angel so they were like trying to capture it most probably because they want to do some kind of experimentation on it as usually people do uh, and so like so yeah so that was like a like angel so now the question is what is um, Shinji's dad and Kaiji doing with that like like this operation was <laughs> the reason behind this operation was to catch the angel uh, in that state so that they can like take it out and perform experiments on it so that means this is the first time they're doing it like at least officially now the thing that Shinji and uh, Ka Kaji brought out uh, Shinji's dad and Kaji brought out in the eighth episode that was something done uh, at least i think like that was something done like not letting the higher ups know about it like that was something done secretly now what do they want to do with that i don't know like we'll probably get to know that later on so yeah now they, like in this episode this was done so that this can the whole thing can be done officially but unfortunately they were not successful the uh, angel uh, was born before they even anticipated it yeah and um okay one thing i i don't know i got a little bit confused in the end the whole thing that they used with like thermal expansion uh they were like using that coolant thing to you know uh, i think somehow like like 
they did something with that in the end now i was a bit confused here I, like obviously like thermal expansion as like uh, ask explained is something that it means that um when a thing is heated it expands and when it is cooled it shrinks so the i'm guessing the coolant that they used obviously because it was a coolant it was in a sh like shrunk like the, it was shrunk already so when it came into contact with the hot magma i'm guessing it expanded or something and they used that to somehow like mess with the angel and like that gave her uh, opportunity to like, destroy it something like that i'm not sure about the you know the finer details the finer scientific details that they used in this episode but it was something like that i think obviously like um uh yeah and obviously like the coolant that were that they were using uh was not water obviously water cannot be used as a coolant in these kind of things maybe they were like you know liquefied nitrogen or something like that um anyways so yeah uh that and um another thing that i realized this episode was misato is a bit reckless you know she, she she like even if she is under like you know danger she really doesn't like you know she, like obviously she gets scared but she is a bit reckless like unless and until she gets that thing done she would like you know continue to go like in the first uh, like uh, portion of this uh, episode she herself was in danger the whole thing i uh, i think or not oh no oh no that was not manned uh, i'm sorry about that i think uh anyways like she is a bit reckless you, you guys can understand what i'm trying to say uh, but obviously that is understandable because uh, like if they don't do this kind of reckless stuff all of the people will die like they are doing this uh like this is like a life death situation for them like they were like you know stationed here and they knew if somehow the angel got like you know a kind of got out of control they would nuke the whole place and everyone like shinji asuka and all of the person that were like stationed there would die it is like a, a thing in like such a level if like uh like they're saying that the second impact happened and we do not want a third impact to happen so like it's such a big thing so even that if the children are like uh were affected like if they had to like wipe out the angel alongside the children they would have to do it like uh like it's uh you know uh something that they are like forced to do otherwise uh the damage that the uh, like world will uh, have like the world will like suffer from is something i'm sure like they don't want to like see like it's such a you know um dangerous thing that they're dealing with so obviously like misato is a bit reckless because it's a, like a do or die thing and like you have to be reckless if you like want to see results so yeah like they kind of got the whole like kind of captured the angel but unfortunately uh, it was a failure but still <clears throat> yeah and yeah and that is it that was this episode and um <clears throat> like it kind of shows you know that uh how they are like not only they all of the other students as well who are like you know uh who are like his friends the people at the school they're like living in a situation where like like it won't be uh uh like like anyone can die at any moment not anyone but everyone can die at any moment like if somehow you know if some kind of angel comes in who is so powerful that like not even shinji or asuka are able to stop them it will be a disaster and like like they're just like you know walking on a tightrope no one knows like what will happen when and like any day like something bad might happen and they might all like end up dead and someone else will you know uh like get the what do you call it the uh, like will have to like you know take their place and like start like trying to uh like like they'll have to like take a responsibility like, for example if like these people like the nerf everyone somehow like accidentally somehow uh like ends up dead because of some kind of angel or uh, you know a third impact or something 
like some like someone else will have to take their place and like become this whole organization who would have to save the other people like this just goes on like if you like if they die someone else will take their place and they'll do the same thing and they might again die somehow like it's a, like you know it's a bad extremely bad situation because uh, i doubt like they know, know even what the angels are trying to do like they are just coming here and you know like killing them or something now there's one thing I, at least i think um this is just a guess like uh, one thing that i've noticed is the angels target the evangelians so i'm guessing that it is somehow connected you know like the evangelion and the angels or something and like also like in the first episode we kind of saw the evangelion get berserk where like got berserk in itself and started moving on its own so it has something some kind of a consciousness within it so at least i think that uh, the angels are targeting the evangelians not the people not them it's targeting the evangelians and because the evangelion is uh, like at a place where like there are a lot of people like the other people are also getting hurt i don't know i'm just like this is just a guess i think and maybe like who knows i'm sure like uh, i don't know if they're going to like you know uh, give us explanations of what the angels are where they come from why they come from why are they doing this i don't know if this anime gives answer to all of that uh, in the by the end but if it like gives those answers i'm really curious as to like like what they, they actually are and what is their objective they're kind of, like they're like aliens you know kind of like aliens but they have human origin i guess so the angels i'm talking about the angels so yeah anyways guys so that was it um that was uh neon genesis evangelion episode number 10 so yeah uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down anything you want to say anything you want to like share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys so that was it i'm really loving this like series you know um uh, much more than i like even expected to uh, it has like a like a quite an interesting plot and uh like like uh, lovely characters as well so yeah it's it's good and like i'm really enjoying it myself so yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video uh, i'll be back with two more videos of neon genesis evangelion next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day